that this is D, and today is the first day of January 2023, and I thought I would start the year off on this channel with ask, uh, answering the question that many of you have asked, and that is, girl, where have you been? This is D. Welcome back to my channel, and if you are new to this channel, welcome. Well, guys, I am back, back, back with my first video of uh, 2023 for the Come Up Straight Up. And yeah, you guys, I'm going to, this is more of a come clean, confessional uh, kind of video because I I was um, MIA much of 2022 and, um, you know, I feel as though I owe you guys an explanation as to why. But... Okay, so when I started this channel, um, the objective was and still is to uplift encourage and i guess in some ways educate women and i hope that doesn't sound arrogant but you know just by sharing my life experiences and my life lessons and my opinions um, particularly i mean for all women but particularly black women who have been I do in many respects disregarded disrespected um, this is a hypergamy channel for women 40 and over because I wanted to convey the message to that well it's never too late for a come up and the come up has no limits you know there is no you don't age out of bettering yourself you don't age out of changing and, and finding a partner who is worthy of you um, there is no age limit to that. There is no reason to settle. I mean, a lot of us have made mistakes with men, and, and it's like, at a certain point, you know, it's like better late than never. You know, a lot of us have not had any sort of encouragement or um, examples of, of, of women who have had a hyper, or who have led a hypergamous life, or who have that strong understanding of self-love and self-confidence and self-respect and someone who cares you know as i do to want to share that perspective with others whether they agree or not so um that was you know kind of like the impetus of me starting this channel and i loved it and i do love it you guys and um one of the reasons, I guess the main reason I wanted to make this video is because I, first of all, this is an apology to you who have, you know, supported me from a day one. Um, but, you know, there's some things that I had to address from a personal perspective. And I don't want to come on here and, and half-ass it, you know. I think that if you watch this channel, you know, um, good or bad, I am authentic. You know, I just, it is what it is with me. Um, I say what I have to say. I hope it's positive, but I also am kind of, I guess, a tough look kind of person too. Also, um, I'd, I'd like to think that I've put myself out there for you guys and sort of been vulnerable and, um, you know, been, been very honest, not too judgmental, a little bit judgmental, but, um, and, or preachy, but just created a sense of community with women my age, younger women, 40 and 50s and older, um, to, to um, you know, just give us that the positive, positive vibes that we need, particularly um, in this world. And particularly, as I said, as black women who are just constantly demeaned and degraded and told we have no value. Um, I enjoy very much the our live streams, our Girl Talk Lives, and um, I am going to start doing those again in 2023 because I really miss that. Honestly, you guys, more than like creating the content, the videos, I really missed um, our, our girl chats. You know, that was probably what, what I missed the most. So. I apologize, you guys. I missed you guys, and I hope you missed me. And definitely, I will be back in 2023. So, what happened? What happened, right? Um, 
I think the catalyst for this, and I don't think I know, in like at the end of 2021, beginning of 2022, I did a series called um, My Big My Big Fat Dating Adventure. Have you ever wondered what online dating is like for women over 40? Well, find out as I embark upon my big fat online dating adventure. Oh, and that is where I sort of, I joined Match.com. I went on these dates um, and I shared my experiences. I shared my profile. I gave profile advice. I showed all the, the likes and, you know, the, the communications I had with these men. And, and, you know, I made videos about certain dates. I mean, I was very, very, very transparent because I wanted to sort of explain you know, expose, you know, everything and wanted to share my experiences and, you know, tell people that you have to get out there. It's not, you know, it's not so scary. You have to get out there. Um, although, I must say, although, I have not, I've never been an online dating person. And prior to that experiment, that, that sort of, that series, I hadn't been on an online date in like years, you guys, years. And even then, I didn't care for it. But I thought, you know what? It's been a long time. Um, this is a channel, again, that's encouraging women. you got to practice what you preach uh, when it comes to dating. And you got to lead by example. So that's what I chose to do. And I can't say it was a bad experience. I, I had fun with it. And I'll, I'll link all that's below. I'll, I'll link the whole series below. It really is good. So you guys should check it out um, if you haven't. But... It just had, I just had this sort of residual effect when I was done with it. I was just like, like, is this, is this it? And I've never been a person like that when it comes to relationships. But it just kind of, you know, I guess sort of hit me. I'll be honest with you guys. Like, you know, I'm a person, I'm a woman of a certain age. I am in my 50s. And it's like, and I hate to say this, you guys, but I don't want to come here and lie and bullshit you because that's not what this video is about it's almost you i my sort of um belief in love and true love what was shaking a bit it, it started to waver i'm not gonna lie and and i'm a person who's always believed that you know everybody has someone for them i've never been a person who does not believe in love you deserve that we deserve that and that is there for you a man who will love you and respect you and put you on a pedestal and provide for you as a man should absolutely 100 percent. always believed it i lived it uh still do um i was raised with it so i've always believed that and i wanted to impart that on all of you and for the first time you guys i that was somehow shaken by this experience of like going out on all these dates and you know bear in mind i was i mean they they were coming in fast and furious i had absolutely no issue with men who wanted to take me out want to meet me i mean take a look at this series um <clears throat> that wasn't the issue it was just like i'm human just like you are and everyone has their their moments there's um they're sort of uh as Oprah says, come to Jesus moments within themselves. And that was mine. It's like, I don't know, just having that experience and seeing, like, and experiencing all these different guys and having nothing just be, having none of them be anything that um, I would want, although on paper they look good. It's just that whole experience kind of left, you know, like they say, a bad taste in my mouth. And I didn't expect that. Uh, that was one thing. That was one reason. Uh, the next reason I would say would be, um, you know, I, this channel is, um, the Come Up Straight Up is my second channel. And I do this um, out of, you know, love for you guys, out of um, my belief in this topic, in this concept of hypergamy and the... Um, belief that it's never too late that we are all entitled to that but this channel is like a labor of love um, I'm this channel is not monetized I don't you know I'm not compensated in any sort of way 
for you know my, my videos on this channel yet I mean I hope to change that um, I do have a second channel pretty and things um, which it, it is monetized but it's not like I may it's certainly not anything that could you know sustain me in any sort of way uh, and the reason I mentioned that you guys is that you know I had not worked for anyone since 2019 right before the pandemic so in um, what 2022 like the spring of 2022 um, I decided for well, obviously financial reasons and uh, I, I think mental health reasons in some respects that I'm going to I was going to you know get a job and I was fortunate enough um, to land a position that you know enables me to work from home I mean I can work all day in my pajamas I make a cute coin and um, you know I am blessed but you know there's no such thing as utopia and I made a quick little video about that. But, you know, I just started a new position a couple of months ago, about three months ago. And I fully understand now why women in particular do not want to work for other women. Um, it's funny, if you are intelligent and halfway decent looking and articulate, women will feel threatened by that. And if you are a black woman, reporting to another black woman huh, forget about it because oftentimes there is that jealousy that competitiveness the way black women treat other black women it is still very much alive and well within the workplace it feeds into every negative stereotype that, and you know undermines all of us as women particularly black women and for a person who has created a channel pretty much um, devoted to empowering and uplifting black women it, it it's disappointing it, it, it's you know it's, it's it's disappointing it's just everybody is human and you have to like there's an old commercial an old beer commercial that says you have to know when to say when and i just felt it was time to say when and decide wow what do i want to do like with these two channels how am I going to approach them going forward? Um, I don't want to like sort of half-ass them, as I as I mentioned before. <clears throat> I want to either be fully committed to them or not at all, because you deserve, you know, you deserve better than that. Another reason was, you know, family related. Um, my mother has been having some. Um, health issues she's had actually a couple of strokes and of course that's been challenging my aunt who was very very close to actually my mother's sister passed away just a little over a month ago she actually passed away on Thanksgiving and um, you know my mother was actually in the hospital again at that time and she couldn't even go to her funeral that's still you know her own sister's funeral she couldn't even go because she was hospitalized and so, um, from a family perspective, that, that, that has been sort of challenging all year. And that, things like that kind of take the wind out of your sails, right? They just do. And um, I, I'm, a, I'm a real person just like you. I, I am no better than anybody else. I'm not perfect. I have my ups. I have my downs. I am a real person with a real life. And um, I just... I just needed a break. I just needed to center myself. Again, there was a lot going on. I want to give this my all. And that's one of the things I think I miss most about the, the Girl Talk Lives. Um, that They were so interactive and so much fun. And um, even though there weren't a ton of people on there a lot of times, that's okay. I really enjoyed how intimate and how fun that was. And so um, I'm definitely going to be doing that again that that was again what I, I think I probably enjoyed most um, what I miss most about you know making content because I wasn't just making content it was interactive I was like engaging with you guys and I I liked I really enjoyed that I mean this can be I enjoy like I said parting whatever imparting whatever wisdom I have in making these videos on various topics but I, I think I enjoy like just engaging with you guys uh, more and I'm going to do that more in 2023 because that's where my heart is um, and that's what I, I really enjoy most 
what else what else what else um again i apologize for my absence but it was necessary and i thank you for your patience i thank you for your continued support and i hope you will continue to support uh, me in this channel because i am a great believer in it and i hope you are too so uh, is there anything else no, I, I think that's it. So I hope you, um, I want to say enjoyed this video, but I, I hope you found it, um, I don't know, I guess revealing. Um, I hope you understand where I'm coming from. And um, I hope you will join me, rejoin me in 2023 uh, because I, I really, really think um, we, we can do something special here. I'm really encouraged, really optimistic about this year, and I hope you guys are too. So, um, if you like this video, thumbs it up, and hell, if you don't like it, thumbs it down, whatever you want to do. But in any event, thank you for watching, and until next time. Mwah.